Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on string related interview question series and this is question number 6. And the question is, check one string is rotation of another string or what? So we will have two strings. Let's say we have A, B, C and D. So this is your main string. Okay. And we will have a rotated string. Let's say C, D, A, B. This is rotated. Why? Because if you start from here, like C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B. So actually this is rotated. This is also rotated. If it is D, A, B, C. So it's like D, A, B, C. So see, there is a rotation here. Similarly, we'll have B, C, D and A. So here also it is the rotation. See, B, C, D and A. So I think you would have understood the point. Let's see how we'll solve this. And you'll be surprised to see that the solution is so simple. Let me clear this. So what you have to do is, this is your main string, right? What you have to do, you have to create a concatenated string, which is going to be M, which is main plus main. So you have to concat that string two times. This is going to look like A, B, C, D, and then again, A, B, C, and D. And we had this C, D, A, B, right? This is rotation, C, D, and then A, B. You just have to search whether if this is your rotated string, then this should exist in this and it does exist. See, C, D, A, B. Similarly, if this is the case, like D, A, B, C. See, we have this D, A, B, C. It's that simple. Maybe now you will never forget this. <laughs> so first step, if you are writing a program, first step should be the length of this main string and the rotated string should be similar. Then only it makes sense to find if it is rotated or not, correct? So first you will check length of main is not equal to length of rotation then just return false. Okay. Otherwise, you'll go ahead and do this concatenation and then you will try to find this particular string exist in this concatenated or not and you're done. So let's see the code now. So as usual, we have this our code. This is the function like check rotation. We have main string and then rotated string. So main string is like this. See, I told you, right? We have to check if main string dot length is not equal to rotated string dot length, then just simply return false. So this returns Boolean. If it is false, I mean, if it is not rotated string, then it'll return false, otherwise true. So if length is equal, then we'll do this concatenation. So this is concatenated string, main string plus main string. And now this is the magic. We have this concatenated dot find this rotated str. So we'll find this rotated str in this concatenated string. If we can find, this is the way you will check. Meaning if it is returning null, meaning if it is not able to find, then it will return this NPOS and if it is returning NPOS then this condition is not going to get true because NPOS is actually equal to NPOS. NPOS is like no position. It, it did not find the position. Okay. This is some special notifier that you did not found that particular thing what you was looking for because this is a standard template function. So if it doesn't find anything, it returns this. So we have to check if it is returning this. I mean, if it is not returning this, then it found that rotated string in this concatenated string and we have written true. That's it. Otherwise false. So that's it. This is question number six. We have so many questions on a string in this playlist. So if you are preparing for an interview, 70 to 80% times you will see string related questions and they really cover a very big portion in interviews. Okay. So prepare for the interview. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.